Spring was really good. Um, we learned um, quite a bit. Um, our completion percentage very high for the entire spring. Our third down percentage very high for the entire spring. Um, the ability to protect the quarterback is improving. The emergence of some players at wide receiver. Uh, Nick Kurtz, a junior college transfer, was really impressed as he progressed through the spring. He had a nice day today. Probably the most improved and underrated player coming into the spring that helped himself the most offensively was Taron Houck. Um, Taron had a really nice day today, but really has been very, very consistent. So I, I really enjoyed seeing what he was um, capable of doing. Um, Michael Davis and transferring over um, to receiver, I would say, is still a little under the radar, but um, I'm encouraged by what I've seen there as well. Um, and Christian Stewart, I think, will be an adequate backup. Um, and so that question, I believe, has been answered. Defensively, you shift over. Um, really like what Trenton Trammell has done. Gives us um, the ability either as a starter or possibly depth at corner, either or. Dallin Levitt did a nice job this spring and will either play safety and or nickel for us. I like that. Zach Stout's return has really helped us with inside backer, as well as Austin Heater kind of emerging and Jeremiah moving to the buck linebacker. So um, we, we are solidifying, not solidified, but solidifying that spot. And then loved Graham Rowley, loved Travis Tuiloma coming back off their missions. Um, had felt similar with Kesney Tausinga um, before he got hurt. So that'll be a nice uh, addition to have back also. So those are kind of, um, I think it'll be the next version of our defense, uh, which will be very strong again. Um, and our kicking game, Trevor um, Sampson and Moose Bingham uh, within one percentage point going into today's kind of grand the kickoff finale. And so still too close to call there, but um, they're very accurate. Uh, we have from a certain, a certain spot on the field, we have a really good idea, and I think we're ahead of where we were a year ago that way. Um, Scott Ariano in the punting game, uh, consistent is doing, I think, performing at a higher level than a year ago also. Still need um, uh, to find um, and have players coming in terms of deep snapping. We have work to do there. So there you go. What's uh, kind of the personality? you have a sense of the personality of this team? Yeah, obedient, hardworking, hungry. Those three words are the ones I would use. Did what the were your Final instructions as you broke because you're not going to work with these guys for. I didn't give any um, at the end of practice, but I did give some in the team meeting, and and really they have approximately three weeks now of time off, loosely defined, and through their finals um, to focus on their schoolwork. That's one of the reasons we have spring early, and then um, man, the first day of spring semester, then we start full speed again. So about three weeks just to focus predominantly on healing and, and uh, academics. As far as the offense goes, you mentioned a num number of guys said you reached the completion percentages. Do you really feel like it laid the groundwork that you wanted it to for, for the uh, upcoming season? I probably exceeded um, what I was hopeful to get done in the two areas of third down conversion and completion percentage this spring. And so, man, we targeted it really hard. and. I like the point of reference it gives us going into the fall. We haven't arrived yet, but we've given it a lot of focus. How much credit does Taysom Hill deserve for some of Tons. that improvement? He's delivering the ball timely, which means that he has a lot better idea of when blitzes are coming, when coverage is changing, what the nature of the protection is, and because of that, how, how fast the ball has to get out and to whom. And so just one more year of in the system. Is there any position group where depth's still a concern going into in, this fall? Inside game? linebacker, I would say, is, is – um, probably my biggest concern, and maybe safety. We have enough, but in comparison to the other position groups, maybe one player away in both of those spots. Nose tackle's fine. I like it. Uh, Marcus Johnson will be coming back, so that's I'm good there. Anything kind of keeping you awake at night the next four months? Is yeah, deep, deep snap. Uh -huh. um, so we have players coming, um, but and that can change the game. So yeah, I, I'm not going to say it keeps me awake, but um, I toss and turn a little more than normal. I might sleep on my left side rather than my right side, which I don't sleep as well. Do you publish a depth chart for these guys so they kind of know where they're at? Going um, the they'll, they'll each have exit interviews with their coaches, and they'll be told exactly where they're finishing spring um, and what they need to do if they want to move up. And some will be told, you know, they won't be in the 105 for fall camp. Some are on the bubble. Some will be trying out the first day of fall semester. 
Um, others will be told you're in the too deep or this will be your role. So they have a really good idea. And those meetings will happen with their coaches, not this next week, but the week after. As far as the offseason goes, is there anything new you're implementing? <coughs> Any new schedule changes? Or? No, the NCAA has instituted schedule changes. So now when we pay for a spring or summer semester, that can be basically the equivalent, no, less than the equivalent, but um, similar to what the offseason program looks like, where we can actually keep attendance, monitor their workouts. You can have eight hours per week, two of which can be film study if you want. If you want to have those two hours within the eight to be workout, then you can do that. Where last, where, where it's been before, you couldn't even keep attendance. So we'll have five weeks basically now of discretionary voluntary, um, but we'll be paying for the school, for the players that we're paying for their schooling. We could actually monitor not only their classes, but their training. With, you, today, go ahead. with today being alumni day, what, what, what role do you think the alumni play in the program today? Um, the alumni, um, similar to what the recruits, um, recruits come in as the lifeblood, and the alumni remain, they're the sustaining force, uh, and they, they come with the attitude of they want to be given hope as to what the program looks like, and they want to be able to continue support, but then many want to know what they can do. And so if you're talking about sustainment, um, I love when I'm asked, um, man, what, what can we do to help? And so that's... That's um, a great reason to have them come. While the intent isn't to ask for anything, it's fun to have um, former players volunteer. Man, we'd like to help more. What can we do? You talked about needing more depth after the bowl loss and more players making more or playing more. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you've got the guys here that can kind of reach that goal? Cl cl closer. Um, it'll still take playing some to, to know that for sure. But we are going to play freshmen, and we're going to play them up to 22 plays a game. Uh, if they're close to being prepared. And that's going to be really important through the long haul. That's what I learned a year ago. And so you might see their number of plays increase as the season goes, but at least um, the idea now isn't come in, be groomed, develop, redshirt, et cetera. It's come in and be groomed and develop and play. You, um, you mentioned the NCAA changes for the offseason, but a lot of it still relies on, on the guys mm. individually. Do you feel pretty confident with, with the leaders and, and the guys that are going to be taking, yeah, taking, I, taking charge I, of the team? I, I do, but I have um, each of my nine years, and really the team dynamic changes when leadership, in terms of coaching leadership, steps away. And so they'll, there's usually a finding themselves period of who now is in charge and how does it work and who holds each other accountable. And uh, we we are absolutely compliant with the rules. And so um, it really comes down to what your team wants for the season. You can really, if you can watch them, you can tell in the summer. And this year we'll be able to watch more. How many Hollywood agents called you after your performance? So that's been, I'm so glad you asked. In fact, I thought that would be the first question because now not only am I the head coach at BYU, but I have to deal with Saturday, li Saturday Night Live and those requests and, you know, Letterman's retiring, but, you know, he, there's, there's only so much to go around. And how do you travel back east and do a show and come back for practice? And it's just, you know, um, Studio C, I, I think, would like me to be an official cast member, but... I have pretty limited time, so I appreciate you asking. Thank you.